The opinions expressed in the following are solely those of the speaker and is not suitable for medical advice, diagnosis, or care. Hey guys, it's Pappy for CPAP Choice. Hey, I want to spend some time today talking about you know, something that just happened and uh, you know, hey, I'm pretty excited about it, but I want to talk to you about the things that contributed to it. You know, maybe some, some practical approaches you know, about how to help uh, somebody who you think has OSA, who you know, you've sat down and talked with. You know, hey, what's some practical steps to, to really talk with them about it so that you get some understanding? Uh, you know, I've heard a lot um, of things you know, as we've gone through the forums you know, of people who just, just plain, you know, the, the failure and the breakdown to communicate about this health issue, you know, it wasn't because they weren't knowledgeable. Um, it was because of some personality stuff and some relationship stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm going to give you some practical tips here, just, just you know, how to talk with a friend. And, um, you know, it gets a little more complicated than that. You know, recently what happened and what's, you know, what's really driving this is, uh, you know, I had an uh, extended family member who, uh, who, you know, they knew my health history and what was going on with me. I knew a little bit about theirs. And, uh, uh, you know, I was talking to him about how CPAP had helped me and about the changes, you know, in, our, in my life. And, um, you know, after spending some time talking with them, I, you know, I, I started to ask them some questions because I, you know, I knew some of the things that they were dealing with. Um, you know, it was a person in there, it was a man in their, his late 50s. Um, he had, uh, you know, untreatable blood pressure, untreatable depression, um, you know, had some sinus issues, and, and we talked a little bit about that. And, uh, you know, as we were able to go through and, uh, you know, talk about just some of the basic, um, you know, things, uh, some of the basic symptoms of OSA, you know, hey, it started to become pretty obvious that, that this might be something that you wanted to pursue and, and get tested. And so, so you know, out of a light conversation, um, you know, we turned it, into, turned it into something that was that was pretty awesome. I mean, basically, you know, he's been, he's now been tested, he's done his first uh, sleep study, uh, you know, the first study night, uh, you know, said, said, hey, you know, you've, you've got a sleeping problem, and, uh, you know, it looks like OSA, you know, I haven't heard the results, the official results yet, and most likely it's OSA. Um, you know, they invited him back for a second study night to get titrated on CPAP, and, uh, you know, that's where he is right now, and I'm going to sit down with him sometime, you know, here in the future and talk about the options and everything, but I want to talk to you about the things that led up to that. And, uh, you know, some of the things that, that maybe you can do to be prepared to talk with a friend and, uh, or a family member and, uh, you know, some stuff that, that really works. I mean, you know, the, f the first thing that really, you know, you know, there's a do's and a don'ts list, okay? And the first uh, don't is don't railroad them. Um, you know, I've, I hear this a lot, you know, on one of the forums, you know, especially from spouses, um, where basically, you know, they're, they're trying to pester their loved one into uh, submission, uh, to go in there and to get tested and whatever else and you know and over time um, just because of you know the dynamics of the relationship you know uh, they could have a panel of sleep physicians stand up there and if they aren't there willingly and they aren't there looking for an answer you know a panel of sleep physicians the best in the world could stand up there and tell the person what is wrong and uh, to be honest they aren't going to hear it and they aren't going to listen to it and uh, you know that's that's a breakdown in relationship you know one of the things that you might you know, you might, you know, want to not do as well is to say, hey, you know, I know what the symptoms are, and you definitely have this. You know, the only way that this can be diagnosed, you know, is with a, uh, with an overnight sleep study, and, uh, you know, those uh, need to be read by a sleep physician. And, uh, you know, after that, you can have your official diagnosis, you know, and they, that could, you know, they can tell a lot from that, and, uh, you know, um, you're, you know, you'll discover a lot. But, um, I'm sorry, the phone rang in between. I kind of lost my train of thought. But, uh, you know, to make a long story short, uh, you know, there's uh, another don't do it, which is don't, don't scare them. Okay, you know, you know, these are three things that people, you know, try and do right when they first discover that, hey, somebody might have a similar problem. And, uh, you know, they, they want to get in there, they want to railroad the person, push them, you know, use everything available to, to go get them tested, to go, you know, convince them of the truth. And uh, you, know, you don't want to railroad them. You don't want to diagnose them. Um, you know, say this is absolutely. A, you know, you get a lot further just saying, hey, you, know, you might want to have this checked out. And uh, you know, best thing is make it think, make them think it's their idea. You know, and don't scare them. You know, don't say, you know, hey, people die of this all the time, and I think you're on the way, because you know somebody's just not going to listen to it. And uh, you know, it sounds like a lot of you know if they aren't familiar with OSA and how simple, 
you know, um, the problem is and how how much of a drastic impact it can make on their life. You know, the two things don't seem connected. So go easy on them. You know, that's the that's the first thing. Go easy on them. Number one. You know, the next thing. You know, here's some do's. You know, do be a friend to them. Because you know, if they're dealing with some of these health issues, you know, they're already pretty pretty disappointed. You know, especially you know if somebody's dealing with with being overweight and they can't lose weight for any reason. You know, uh, you know, you don't want to be railroading them and say this is absolutely the reason. You know what? They've grown up. They've heard that all their life. You know, here this is absolutely the best diet for you. This is absolutely what you need to do is more exercise. And they've tried all those things and failed. And now you're trying to railroad them. And they're going to shut off. They're going to blank out. And it's going to be just another thing to them. And uh, so don't railroad them. So here's what you can do. You can be a friend. You know, and being a friend, you know, if you're sitting there sharing as friends, you know, relaxed, comfortable, not getting excited, you know, not diagnosing them, not sticking your finger in their face, you know, talk to them about your story. And, uh, hey, you know, I was kind of, you know, if you were surprised by this, you know, if it really helped you, you know, I mean, if you don't, you know, I mean, Pappy's, you know, uh, you know, the out, <laughs> getting treated for Pappy, you know, had a dynamic impact and it was an obvious impact on, to everybody around me. You know, so there wasn't much explaining needed there. Um, you know, I already talked about it quite a bit. But hey, you know, share your story. I mean, if you just were a little bit sleepy during the daytime and you had a little bit of high blood pressure, you know, and it was just seemed so simple and, and, and you went and they discovered, you know, hey, you have OSA and you got treated. You know, if you struggled, talk with them about that. You'll be real. You know, I mean, this happens person to person. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure that, you know, sleep physicians and everybody else are frustrated, you know, trying to get the word out because, you know, 90% of people with this disease, it's estimated, aren't treated. And you can be an impact player on the people in your sphere of influence in your life, you know, if you learn how to handle it correctly. And so, so be a friend. You know, um, tell them your story and be personal about it.